If you want to be the first person to find out when a new Uniswap V3 pool is created, literally the second it's created, this video is for you. I'll show you how to listen for the creation of new pools and get notified when a new pool is created. New illiquid pools could be your opportunity for arbitrage profits because you won't be competing with thousands of other bots yet. I'm Blockman, and I help developers learn DeFi and Web3. If you're looking to level up your Web3 skills, click the link below and download my Ethers.js cheat sheet. We're going to write this to monitor the creation of pools on your local hardhat network, so there's a little bit of setup, but this will give you a better learning experience. And it will work exactly the same on mainnet if you just update the URL and addresses. I have a hardhat project here, and I'll provide you with all the setup code in the video's description. You just have to copy and paste it in the right place. I have some packages installed. I've configured hardhat. I have a few vanilla ERC20 contracts that we'll use to create our pool. In the scripts directory are my personal scripts for deploying Uniswap v3 contracts and pools locally. I've explained how these work in some other videos, so see my Uniswap v3 playlist for more information on that. I've also dropped the wrapped ether artifact into the root directory. Finally, we have a file called listen.js, where we'll be writing the code to listen for a new pool. The first thing we want to do is run the first script, and that deploys the Uniswap v3 contracts. So this deploys the factory, the swap router, the NFT descriptor, the non-fungible token position descriptor, the non-fungible position manager, and wrapped ether. And while these are already all deployed on mainnet or testnet, if we want to deploy pools locally, we need to deploy these in advance. So this script will do that. Copy this line at the top and paste it into your command line after setting up this project. Actually, the first thing you need to do is start a local hardhat node. Then, in another window, run the script. That will deploy all those contracts and give you the address where they're deployed. Then run this second script, and this deploys our tokens. Now we have the addresses where those tokens are deployed. There's one more script, and this actually creates a pool. But before we create a pool, we want to write our listen.js script. Firstly, import ethers. Then get the factory artifact. Then set the factory address where we deployed it. So copy the address where we deployed it and paste that in. Next, point your provider to the local hardhat network URL. And you can get that URL in the window where you started the hardhat local node. Now initialize the factory contract. And we pass in the factory address, the factory ABI, and our provider. Now we can do our listening. With our contract, we'll subscribe to an event called Pool Created. The first argument we pass to on is the event that we want to listen for. And the next argument is a set of the attributes that we want to listen for when we hear that event. Let me show you really quick where I got these from. Here I have the docs for the Uniswap v3 factory contract. And over on the side here we have events. So we're listening to the pool created event. And we can see that it broadcasts these attributes when the pool is created and the event fires. 
Now here we can log those. We can say pool created with token zero and token one. at the address of the pool. You'll see in the docs that pool is the address where it's deployed. Now we're basically done here. Let's start this up in the terminal in a new window with node listen.js, just the name of the file. And now it's listening. So let's go back to our previous window and run the last deploy pool script. Copy this at the top and paste it into your terminal. So that created a pool and that's the address. Now we're doing the deploying, so we obviously already have this information, but you can see here the output from listen.js. It logged the information about the newly created pool. So we could run this and just let it run and we would be notified of when anyone else on the Ethereum network deployed a new Uniswap v3 pool. Give this video a like and subscribe if you found it helpful. Tell me what else you want to learn, and I'll see you next time.